Driving with a bad torque converter is like walking on thin ice, risky and bound to catch up to you eventually. Your car's performance will degrade over time, and other components can get affected. Let's break it down. Identifying the problem first, it's crucial to recognize the signs of a failing torque converter. Common symptoms include slipping gears, shuddering, strange sounds, like whining or clunking, and poor acceleration. Short-term consequences. You might think you can push the limits, but even a few days of driving with a bad torque converter can cause severe issues. As the torque converter continues to fail, it can spread debris or contaminate the transmission fluid, potentially leading to complete transmission failure. Immediate risks. Driving under these conditions makes it dangerous for you and others on the road. Gear slippage could result in your car stalling or failing to accelerate when you need it most, like merging onto a highway or crossing an intersection. Financial implications. A failing torque converter can lead to more expensive transmission repairs or even a total replacement. So while you might save time and inconvenience by continuing to drive, it will likely cost you more in the long run. Expert advice. The smartest move is to get it diagnosed and repaired ASAP. You don't want to find yourself stranded on the side of the road or facing a hefty repair bill. So how long can you drive with a bad torque converter? The truth is, not very long before you'll have to deal with more significant issues. Prioritize getting it checked out and fixed. Your car, your wallet, and your peace of mind will thank you.